Hi, my name is Frank D'Alessandro. I'm an attorney. I work at Pine Tree Legal Assistance. This presentation is designed to assist homeowners who are having trouble paying their mortgage or who are facing foreclosure. This is a three-part series put on by Pine Tree Legal Assistance and the Ho Maine Housing Counseling Network. Um, and it's been created to help you see what your options are if you're facing foreclosure or having trouble making your mortgage payments and what you can do to make the situation better. Dealing with foreclosure requires you to be persistent and to be organized. You need to pay attention to every communication you get from your lender. You need to understand the foreclosure timeline and you should closely monitor court deadlines. Finally, you need to create a realistic action plan that fits your needs and then you need to stick to that plan. This segment shows you how to make an action plan. The first thing you have to do in making an action plan is to identify the problems and gather basic information. The first thing you need to do is find out who the lender is, what your monthly payment is, and what your current interest rate is. The, all that information should be on the monthly statement you receive from the servicer. It's also important to know what type of mortgage you have. Is it fixed rate or is it adjustable rate? That information should be on the note that you signed at the closing when you got your mortgage. Is there a balloon payment? A balloon payment is um, a large lump sum payment that you require to make usually after 24 months or sometimes after 60 months. It's important to identify that information. Also, you need to identify whether or not this was money you borrowed to purchase the home or to refinance the home. That's very important information. Also, it's important to have your credit score. You should pull your credit report and get your credit score. Um, and then also, when was the date of your last payment? If you're behind in your mortgage, that's really important information to have. Then the next thing after you identify the basic information, the next, the next step is to identify what the problem is. Why did you fall behind on your mortgage? Did you lose income? Did you become disabled, either temporarily or permanently? Did you have an increase in expenses? Um, did you go through a divorce or a separation? Was there a death of a family member? Or did you lose your job? In order to negotiate a new workout with your lender, the lender is going to want to know why you've fallen behind on your mortgage payments. Then the third step is to identify possible solutions. In one of the other series videos we did in this series, we, we talked about fact or fiction, some things that are true and some things that aren't true if you're facing foreclosure or falling behind in your mortgage payment. One of them was whether you should save your home at all costs. It may not make sense to, for you to save your home, but it's important for you to figure that out. One of the ways to do that is to do a budget. It's really important to do a budget because in doing a workout and trying to get a mortgage payment that's affordable, it's critical to, to figure out what is in fact affordable for you. So you need to do the budget. You need to accurately identify what your income is, you need to accurately identify what your expenses are. How much do you pay for your mortgage? How much are your property taxes? How much is your house insurance? How much do you actually pay for electricity and heat every month? Phone costs, cable, internet, food costs, clothing, toiletries, pet supplies, car payments, car insurance, it's all important. If you're spending money on it, you need to include it in your budget. After you do a, an accurate budget of what your current expenses are, that's the time to look at the budget and to decide what can and can't be cut from the budget. But when you're doing the budget, it is critical that you contain all your expenses and accurately identify what your income is and not over-identify what your income is and under identify what your expenses are. Now possible solutions, if it makes sense to keep your home, if it makes sense given what your income is that a mortgage is affordable to you, some things that you can do is try to restructure the loan to, or do a loan modification with the lender. 
Um, another possibility is to get a loan forbearance from the lender, which would give you more time to get caught up. Um, you could also, if you're elderly, do a reverse mortgage, which would pay off the existing mortgage and allow you to stay in your home. Um, but as we discussed in one of the other videos we did in this series, it's really important not to borrow trouble. It's really important not to get into a situation which just makes matters worse. So before you enter into any sort of refinance, before you enter into a re reverse mortgage, before you do a loan modification, it's in your best interest to contact a housing counselor or an attorney to go over that modification or uh, refinance before you sign on the dotted line. Another option may be bankruptcy. There are two types of bankruptcy. Chapter 7 bankruptcy where you get rid of all your debt, um, which include the mortgage, and then a Chapter 13 bankruptcy where you restructure your debt and um, so that you can make the payments. And in some cases, a Chapter 13 bankruptcy is helpful in saving a home. Um, but if that's a possible solution, and it may be for you, you should contact a bankruptcy attorney to discuss your options. As we discussed before, it may not make sense to, to keep your home. Maybe the best solution is for you to sell the home and pay off the mortgage. There are also some other options. You could do a short sale. In some cases, a bank will um, or a lender will accept a short sale is where you sell the property for less than what you owe and the bank um, accepts that in full satisfaction of whatever you owe them. Also, you could do a deed in lieu where sometimes the lender will allow you to just transfer the property to them and they will forgive the debt owed on it. Um, there are some problems with that though. And both of those solutions, either the short sale or the um, deed in lieu can have serious tax consequences. So before you enter into an agreement like that, you should contact a housing council or an attorney and fully um, identify what the consequences are gonna be from entering into that agreement. So finally, um, it's really important that in developing this action plan, okay, you identify, you get the basic information together. You identify what the problem was. You identify what the possible solutions are, and you do an accurate budget, which accurately states what your income and expenses are. Now, in order to do this, in order to do an effective action plan, you need to get all of your documents together. And that includes all the documents you got when you, you um, were at the closing for the mortgage, any documents you may have received from the servicer since then, and if you're in court, all, um, if you're in court, any court documents you may have received either from the lender or from the court. Um, you need to do the budget. You need to get help you should contact a housing counselor or an attorney as soon as possible. Get help sooner rather than later. Don't borrow trouble. Don't enter into a new agreement that just makes matters worse. Be persistent and diligent. If you don't get help right away, call back. Remember, you are not alone. In 2008, over 5,000 foreclosures were filed in the state of Maine, and that number is rising. If you are in foreclosure, which means if you've been served with a notice of default or if you're actually in court, it's really important to keep track of all deadlines and you need to contact an attorney for help right away. So the next step is for you to meet with a, develop an action plan and meet with a housing counselor or an attorney. At the end of this video, there'll be contact information for the main housing counselor network. You should look and for Pine Tree Legal Assistance website, www.ptla.org. You should look at that information and contact the entity closest to you for help.